everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The God of Power for Zelda Classic Part 3. Today we continue through the tunnel, and hopefully we'll find level 3. Let's go. And I do apologize for my chirpy budgie in the last video at the end of it. I have relocated my bird to the living room for this part. So it should be pretty quiet now. Don't you dare use that bomb, or else! <laughs> okay. And it looks like we're gonna need the hook shot to get over there, so I guess we're going up. Into the staircase, and okay, that explains this uh, little pathway. Kill the red levers and continue. And now we're on a skyway of some sort. A very unusual spot, too. Okay, can we do anything to these tombstones? Nope, not really. Anything over here? I see it's another hookshot spot to get to that heart piece. So I guess we'll use a ladder, go over the water, and continue up. Got a little tombstone bridge. Anything relevant with these tube stones or no? Don't look like it. Uh, let's try moving one of these, maybe? Nope, nothing. A whole lot of nada. <laughs> Alright, so we got just one big stone stairwell taking us up. And this must be level three. And we are given bombs right off the bat. Looks like this is like a new version of a Gibdo, I guess. A a re-sprited good though. Yeah, don't use your super bomb on this. You want to use your regular bomb on this tombstone. That's how you open up this spot. And I might as well grab these. Here we go with level three. I have a feeling this won't be easy. Or uh, level three sky tower with the stone tower temple music from Majora's Mask version two. So, we start with Red Dark Nuts. Yeah, this place is a little bigger, bigger than the first two dungeons. I think we got a walk-through wall spot here. So just push against it until you find the sweet spot. I think it's probably up here. Yep, there we go. Yep, and here we're gonna get our first key. Kill the keys and then get it. I don't know if there's anything noteworthy enough. No, it's just, just a spot full of water. Hey, if Link gets thirsty, he could have a drink there. I don't know. Through this locked door. Okay, rope two's return. Looks like we got a pillar blocking off the path there. We're gonna use the switch to drop it down. Yeah, I've heard this music enough in a lot of quests. <laughs> We hit that, and then we all the way up just to save time. There we go. Those zigzaggy paths. Oh, red line also again. Hopefully, I'll be getting my next sword upgrade soon. Getting sick of this wooden sword that's just painted white. <laughs> Hooray for the map. And now we go left. Damn yeah, it, I got spawned right on top of a ninja stuff. It's not fair. Oh, let's see. Middle room. Yeah, we need a key for that lock. So, that other room's gotta have a secret of some sort. Whether it be a walkthrough wall or a bombable wall. I think it's a bombable wall in here. Alright, this room. Oh, the ninja stuff will start throwing daggers. Good thing I got the magic shield. And the compass, yay. Do we push a block? Yes, we do. Yeah, there's gonna be a, a few tricky rooms with these skull pots coming up. I'll make mention of them as we get closer. First, we got a colored array of keys, red and blue. Where's the white? Don't be discriminating. <laughs> ah, two bunnies. 
Yeah, be careful with the pulse voice. It's gonna take a lot of hits with the sword. And they can do massive damage to you with two hearts. Alright, this one's gotta be almost dead. Yay! Stopwatch! Let's go hurry up and kill him! Oh, I can't ladder over this water. I can ladder over here, though. Come on, buddy, quit bouncing on the water. Get over here. Is he stuck? Bounce over here! There we go. Oh, bounce back! Ah! Come on. Let me knock the whiskers off you. Yay, finally dropped both Pole's voice and we get a key. So we had to kill him. Alright, I think we need the magic boomerang to hit that little shining star thing there. Looks like we got regular ninja stuff over here, not the second version. So, what's lurking over here? Ah, wizard robes! Oh god, watch out. I could die in two hits. Yeah, the tricky skull pot rooms will be coming up shortly. Let's break these open. Yay, money. Alright, I think we gotta push the block here. Yep, staircase. And hey, there's the hook shot. So now we can grab that heart piece once we leave the dungeon. <coughs> Always good. I got the boingy boingy tool. And there's a secret over here. Walk through the wall. Money room. A whole lot of money. And this money's gonna be going towards that raft. Alright, now as you can see, that shining star thing is too far away, so we got a hook shot to the blue block. And I like the hook shot animation in this game, it looks really good. Love the sprites for it. Alright, so now we got the hookshot and a key, so now we can continue deeper into the dungeon. And Darkness respawns, screw them. Uh, extra bombs, I'll leave them there later, just in case I need them. <coughs> Alright, this room's gonna be tricky. Let's see if I can stun that s this guy so I can get to the block. Oh, come on! This hitbox is too big! Ugh. They get in the way of the hookshot blocks, that's a problem. Ah, move it! There we go. Kill him quick. I wish you would've put the enemies on different platforms. Kind of annoying to get through them. Alright, at least this guy I can do something about. Yay. Drop the curtains, and now I can go north. All right, the tricky skull pot rooms are approaching. So, all right, looks like we got a bombable wall here. Try not to use that super bomb. If I use it, I'm gonna be stuck in this game forever. So that's like the <laughs> that's, well, actually, I could buy other ones, but I think you just need at least one. I want to use it in the wrong spot. Alright, the rope twos take care take care of all of them because I want to see if they drop anything. Because there might be a key in here I need. Alright, you flashy skull snakes. Die. Oh, well, we got more bombs. I guess I can take these. So what's over here? One mistake. Will it cause many more? <laughs> Just be careful. Use your sword on the evil and only that. Yeah. I'll explain once we get to the first skull pot room that's coming here. There's a swerve for this one. Do not break any of these skull pots here, otherwise you'll get work back to the beginning. I'm gonna use the boomerang just to be safe, because that would... 
The boomerang doesn't break the skull pots. If I risk swinging my sword the wrong way, yeah, it's bad news. Yeah, that treasure chest there is false. Don't open it, it'll take you back to the start. Only open the blue treasure chest. Those are the legit ones. Yeah, don't want to break the skull pots in here either, it'll take you back to the start. Trust me, I've hit these enough to have to be to know that by now. <laughs> A whole lot of trial and error figuring out that it was not fun. We have a sideways sword trick these guys. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit. No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, I think one of these blocks budge. I think it's one of these bottom ones. Yep, that one. And now we come in here. Yeah, blue treasure chest. Want that. And we also have blue dark nuts. <laughs> nope. Come on, get down here, you. Come on. Yay. Now let's get rid of this last blue dark nut. Just want to get them past these skull pots. I don't want to risk breaking them. For fear, I'll get warped back, and I don't want to have to do this again. Come on. Okay. Blue Dark Nut's dead and we get our key. Yeah, not even gonna risk breaking them. Now we're gonna backtrack a few rooms. Eee. And I just walk past these skull pots and continue. Oh, fairy pond. I forgot that was there. So I guess we gotta backtrack a little further. Yeah, all those rope twos lining up to die. <laughs> Kill you through the door. And the and the bombable walls reform in this dungeon. Evil. Walls have healing properties. I don't know if I should be worried about that. Yeah, you can break the skull pots in this room. <coughs> and through the locked door, and now we continue to tore up da rope ones and you can see them coming. Now I got a room chock full of the ninja stuffos too. Drop a heart. Now! Damn it. Oh, I got money. So what's down here? <clears throat> right, There's another room I want to check out. Let's go over here. Alright, a couple red dark nuts. Oh. Boy, that could find space I didn't think I was going to slip through. And we get a fairy! Hooray! I think it was worth it then. So, looks like we've hit most of the big rooms so far. <clears throat> now this stairwell takes us to up here. <clears throat> takes us all the way over to this staircase. Alright, need our candle. Light the torch, get rid of that block. Now be careful, we got wizard ropes in here. And we got fires also, which I just caught wind of. Dead. Want that money, gimme. Burn! Oh, uh, let's see. Ooh, there's something here, I think. Walk through wall! Plus key time! Whoa, and watch out, there was ropes. And rope twos and a bubble. Oh 
god. Using that enemy phasing to my advantage. Okay, wizards are all dead, now I can focus on this snake. <coughs> and hooray for Bosky, give me... Aha! And now we go back a little bit. I guess we're gonna go to the north, because we don't have much else to do. Or not. Oh, yeah, go south, I forgot. Yeah, that's what I meant. Alright, Ninja Stealthless 2 are back. Yeah, those skull pots not gonna risk breaking. I think those take you back to the start also. Alright, now you got some little alcoves here to hide in to dodge the automated traps. And I think in here we grab our key after killing all the keys. And the block barricade forces you to use the boomerang here. Yay, got our key. to the alcove again. Alright, going onward. Yeah, I'll leave those bombs there. I don't need them. Through the locked door. And now I think we got to walk through the wall here. Now we got a group of guineas. Big fat weenies. Yeah, round them all up here. I'm gonna start throwing flames around and stab them too. Burn! Alright, let's hook shot over and deal with that last guinea. See if they drop anything. All right, more bombs. <laughs> no short supply of them. Now to the boss door. Now we fight two Dodongos with corner traps. I've seen worse. Honestly, the dungeon itself was tougher than the boss. Yay, heart container. And that's level three in a nutshell. And I think we've about covered all the rooms. Uh, well, yeah. That about does it. Hooray! We collect the Triforce. Already Rue. And that's Skyway done. What a Sky Tower. So hopefully we'll knock level 4 out in the next vid, perhaps. Now I can finally get that heart piece that I want. Since I have the handy dandy boing boing item. The hook shot. Already maxed out on cash. Alright, move it, Blue Octoraki. Down here. Down, down. Oh, oy, oy, oy. Him being in the way is gonna be annoying. Here, real stun. Got him. Yay, heart piece. Let me bomb these. Alright, I just wanted to make sure nothing happened there. Yeah, I gotta hang on to that super bomb. I'm gonna need it shortly. Alright, we're back in the desert region. Yeah, hard to believe we're already a, th a third of the way through this quest. Very hard to fathom. Alright, hookshot over here, and yeah, I'll leave those bombs. I got enough of them. Alright, bomb that. Ah, so that was the purpose of that cave, huh? I'll work my way back over here. Yeah, I'll see what's up. What are you doing? Go bomb the rock now. Yes, which rock is it? Well, you'll find out in the next vid, folks, so stay tuned for Let's Play. 
Legend of Zelda, the God of Power for Zelda Classic, Part 4, where we will bomb said particular rock, get back to the Kakariko Village, and find out what we do from there, and maybe find level 4. Anyway, see you then, peoples!